Hello, in this video you are going to develop an invoicing system, in on-premise SharePoint using Spark Forms, and Spark Reports Builder. We are going to customize the invoice SharePoint list, and create a modern invoice form by Spark Forms. And we are going to create general sales report, and customize it by adding filter fields by Spark Reports. And then integrate the invoice form with the sales report, to generate multi-custom reports based on the selected fields. Now let's start to customize the invoice SharePoint lists, and create a modern invoice form. In the beginning, we created two lists as we see here, the invoice list and the invoice items list. One for the basic information, and the other for the details of the items and we are going to store the invoice data in these two lists. If you want to learn how to create a list in SharePoint in detail, you can watch the tutorial videos in the description below. From the invoice list, we are going to create the modern invoice form using Spark Forms Builder. As you see here in the invoice list, there is a link to Spark Forms Builder, you will find this link in every single list or library on your SharePoint, so, from here, the form that we are going to be created is linked to the list without any configuration from our side. Click on Spark Forms Builder. If you want to learn how to customize the design for the form in detail, you can watch the tutorial video in the description below. For now, we are going to add the design elements quickly. Let's now add the fields. Now we are going to add the repeater control. Let's drag and drop the repeater. We are going to use the repeater control to add in the items details, and these data will be saved in the invoice items list. We are going to integrate these two lists together by the repeater. So from the repeater control properties select map to list. We are going to set the repeater configuration. In the site list select invoice items list. And in master ID, Select Invoice ID. Then map the form controls with the related list columns. Then click on OK. So from one form, we integrate the two lists together using Spark Forms Builder without the need to write a single line of code. And we will add all the data from the same screen. Let's now publish the form and see how it works. Let's back to our list. Click on New. Great. Here's our custom form has been opened, we can fill the data and save it. Let's enter the data quickly. As we see here, data have been stored in the invoice list, and in the invoice items list. Now we are going to create the sales report. Spark Reports Designer allows you to create customized reports within your SharePoint environment quickly and easily, these reports will run where your users need them. You can run Spark Reports from anywhere and on any device, desktop, mobile devices, tablets, iPads, and on their preferred web browser and across operating systems. And now we are going to learn how to create Spark reports. And how to create a link in a form that generates a URL with parameters from the form, to open a report that is automatically filtered based on the past parameter. From the site settings, click on Spark Reports Manager to open your site's reports management page. In the Reports Manager page, Click on the New Report button, and select General Report. 
Now the Spark Reports Designer is open. To build a report by Spark Reports Builder, you need first to create the report query and specify the columns you will use in the report. First, we are going to create report query using the Query Builder. On the top ribbon click on the Query Builder. Drag and drop the lists that we are going to use to the Query Canvas. Then select Query Columns and draw relations between entities. You can test your query execution results on the spot. From the top ribbon, click on Execute Query. Then save the query design. And return to the Report Design workspace to design your report based on this query. Let's design the report header. Let's drag and drop label control, then modify the label properties. Now we are going to add a horizontal line control. We are going to add the report table control to the report canvas. Let's drag and drop the report table control. Now we are going to drag and drop query columns to the report table control. I am going to add all the columns quickly. We are going to run the report to check how it would look like to users. We can send special parameters to this query to obtain information as we need, by using ad hoc query form. Spark Reports Builder provides users with many various controls, to design ad hoc query forms to provide flexible and scalable reports for their users and decisions makers. Let's create an ad hoc query form. First, we want to add the first parameter which is the payment method, so we can filter our report based on the payment method if it is cash or credit, or checks. Let's drag and drop a text box control to save the parameter value in it. Modify the text box properties and hide it. Now we are going to create a dynamic query filter using the Filters Manager. From the Query Builder, on the top ribbon click on Filters Manager. Specify Entities, Columns, and Operations for the filter. Select Filter Type to be a Control and map the SharePoint field to the payment method control in the ad hoc form. Then save. You can test your query by clicking on the Execute Query button, which will allow you to enter the query filter payment method manually. Then save. We can add extra filters to the query, like a customer name, salesperson, branch. Let's add the text box for the customer name parameter, and modify the text box properties as we did before. We are going to repeat the same steps as we did with the payment method. Again we are going to the filters manager. Add a logical operator or. Click on the plus icon to add a new filter operator and line to the filter criteria, and include the customer name column, and customer name control in it. and I will add the salesperson and branch quickly. In the ad hoc query form properties, switch on the run on low to execute the report once loaded. And switch off show ad hoc. Ok now the ad hoc is ready but we need to send the parameters for it. So we are going to create a rule to add dynamic parameters to the controls. On the top ribbon click on form rules. Create new rule. Modify the rule name. Select rule type action. In the action text box, from functions, we search for the function set value. Add payment method control. 
and from functions, we search for the function get form query string and add a dynamic parameter filter payment method. And the same for customer name, salesperson, and branch. Then save. Great. We have finished, so we are going to publish it to be ready to use. On the top ribbon, click Publish button. Enter the report name. Select Add to a reports list. Then click on Submit. Now let's return to our invoice form. Now we are going to add a button in the form with the parameter, to open a filtered report based on it. First, we will start with the sales report for this payment method. Add the button. And then add a rule that adds the report URL with the payment method parameter for the button. We will send the payment method value that used in this form. Let's add a new rule in button. Click on Control Rules. Create new rule. Edit rule name. Select rule type action. And select event on click. In the action text box add the report link. We are going to copy the report URL from, Spark Reports list. And paste the URL here. And add the parameter. Then from functions, we search for function get value. From function wizard select payment method control. Then save. We can add as many as we want from buttons and parameters, I will add the customer, salesperson, and the branch, in the same way quickly. Let's now publish the form and see how it works. Let's get back to your list. Click on the edit icon. Great. Here's our custom form has been opened. As we see here, these buttons that we have added to the form. We are going to open the sales report for this payment method cash. Click on sales report for this payment method. Let's see the sales report for this customer. This is a general tutorial on how to integrate Spark Forms with Spark Reports. And how to create and develop an invoicing system in SharePoint. There are many more ideas to come up with by combining Spark Forms, Spark Workflow, and Spark Reports. Follow us to learn more about managing and automating your work, and about Spark Forms, Spark Workflow, Spark Reports, and much more. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe, and if you have a comment please write it down. Thank you.